Do you think you know a lot about the beta flight? Well, let's see. I have prepared the list of 12 interesting facts about the beta flight project. And I'm pretty sure you do not know at least a few of those. So let's go with the list of 12 things about the beta flight that you most probably had no idea about. Do you know that the beta flight is far, 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 far relative all the multi we software? No idea what the multi we is or rather was? Well, it was the flight controller project originally started as the full do-it-yourself when you just took an Arduino, yes, the good old, good old 8-bit Arduino, combined this with the MPU 6050 taken from the multi we nunchuck and you had the first, one of the first flight controllers for the drones. Yeah, it really made a long, long, long way from the multi we to the beta flight. The beta flight as the separate project started its life in 2015 when Boris B forked beta flight from the clean flight to make the beta flight, let's say, like the name suggests, the beta channel for the faster release cycle that back then clean flight was not really having. For the Boris, it was just taking too much time to make his idea from the idea, from the development to hitting the production on the clean flight, so he just started his own fork and six years ago, well, it's the leading cutting edge of the freestyle and the racing flight controller software. And who even remembers about clean flight? Betaflight developers are working on something new. Soon, of course, if everything will work out, you will be able to run Betaflight on the brand new category of the flight controllers. Forget about F3s. Whoa, whoa, you really should forget about F3s. Forget about F4s, F7s and H7s. And soon... Maybe, hopefully, let's see how the hardware availability will look like. You will be able to run beta flight on the STM32 G4s. That might be interesting. Betaflight 4.3 will give you a nice feature. It will allow you to change both the resource mapping for the motors and also to reverse the motor direction from the Betaflight configurator. No longer need to open BL Heli configurator to change the motor direction. There is a nice wizard, you click whatever you want to click and bam! Motor direction reversed without even having to leave the Betaflight configurator. Betaflight is by far the most popular flight controller software designed for the FPV drones. Yes, ArduPilot might have the bigger community, bigger base, but Betaflight is biggest if we are talking only about the mini quads. You know, 3 to 7 inches doing flippity floppy doing racing. If we only consider drones as this subcategory, Betaflight wins and really like by that far from the next competitor. If you want to, you can use Betaflight on the airplanes. Yes, the function is still there. You can select the airplane mixer, assign servo and go flying. Most probably the experience will not be as nice as you might get with the other flight controller software, but you can do it, no problem, really. Considering only C language, the Betaflight code base consists of more than 3 million lines of code. Yes, 3 million lines of code. Of course, not all of the code is really native to the Betaflight because a huge chunk of those 3 million are, are the codes of the libraries provided by the STM as the framework for all the supported flight controllers. So we have the libraries for the F3, libraries for F4, F7, H7, but still, just think about it. 3 million lines of codes are making your quad do the flippity floppy around the tree. How cool is that? This might sound like a contradiction of what I said before when I said that Betaflight project is 6 years old, but the oldest commit in the Betaflight repository comes from 2012, so 9 years ago. Where is the gap? What happened between 2012, where well, the first commit was created and 
and 2015 when actually the beta flight created. What happened were the base flight and the clean flight that are parents and grandparents of the beta flight project. Everything that we use right now is based on the work of the one called the Time Cop, but this is a topic for a completely different story, that started to port the multi-Wii into the STM32 microcontrollers back in the 2012. Over those nine years, more than 400 independent developers contributed to the Beta Flight project. Last time I checked, it was 421 people, although I do think that the number is slightly bigger because this is only the amount of people that whose commits were merged into the main Beta Flight. But still, think about it more than 400 people made it possible for your quad to do racing and fly through the trees. Those 421 developers in nine years created more than 16,000 commits. That gives the average daily number of commits committed and merged into the main beta flight project of roughly about 4.8. That's a big number, that's a small number. If you are not a developer, you most probably have no idea, but if you are a developer, then you might think, well, probably for something that people are doing in their free time, that's kind of really impressive. In the last year, the official beta flight releases were downloaded from the GitHub servers more than 120,000 times. This gives an average of more than 3,500 downloads a day. And we are only talking about the downloads from the GitHub. Whatever you might have locally or you compiled locally or downloaded from completely different sources, it's completely unknown. One of the coolest features of the upcoming beta flight 4.3 are the new gyro notches because unlike the previous versions of the notches when the system was only detective and one frequency spike and was trying to apply the notch on this gyro frequency spike nowadays the new improved dynamic notches can apply three separate filters on each axis so by default that means it does applied nine, yes, nine notches on the gyro signal to eliminate all possible noise spike. Is it the resonant frequency? Is it the noise motor? Is it something else bad happening right now with your frame? Get rid of that noise so that your flight gets much smoother. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Happy flying!